In the vast expanse of human consciousness, there lies a complex maze, a labyrinth of thoughts, emotions, and dilemmas that intertwine, leading many into a perpetual cycle of rumination. It's an arena where modernity seems to have intensified the age-old problem, overthinking. This affliction, not uncommon in our era, has ensnared countless souls, causing them to second-guess decisions, fret over past actions, and fearfully anticipate futures yet to unfold. It's the modern plague, silent but pervasive, leaving in its wake sleepless nights, missed opportunities, and a diminishing zest for life. Yet, throughout history, there have been beacon-like figures, individuals who stood as pillars of clarity amidst the chaos of human experience. One such luminary was Miyamoto Musashi. To the casual observer, Musashi was a master swordsman, renowned for his unparalleled skill in duels and his creation of the Niten Ichi Ryu technique. But delve deeper and you'll discover a philosopher, an artist, and most importantly, a strategist par excellence. Musashi's life wasn't merely about the art of the sword, but the art of clear thinking, of navigating life's challenges with a sharp, focused mind. At the intersection of Musashi's wisdom and our modern dilemmas, we find a potential remedy for the rampant overthinking that plagues so many. As we embark on this journey through Musashi's life and philosophy, let us seek to understand not just the man, but the timeless strategies that can help us pierce through the dense fog of our own mental labyrinths. The Samurai Mindset Decisiveness over doubt Emerging from the fog of introspection, we transition into the vibrant, kinetic world of the samurai, a realm where every moment was a dance between life and death. In this world, Miyamoto Musashi stood tall, not merely as a master of the blade, but as an exemplar of decisive thought. For a samurai, the battlefield was a metaphorical crucible, distilling clarity from chaos. Hesitation, even for a fleeting second, could mean the difference between victory and defeat, life and death. Musashi's legendary exploits echo tales of lightning-fast decisions where a singular moment of doubt could seal one's fate. This wasn't impulsiveness, but a cultivated mindset. It was the synthesis of observation, intuition, and experience converging into swift, resolute action. In the cacophony of clashing steel and the intense gaze of an opponent, there was no room for the indulgence of overthinking. The lesson here is starkly clear. When faced with critical junctures in life, much like the pivotal moments of a duel, allowing the mind to spiral into endless loops of doubt can be perilous. Drawing from Musashi's example, we're beckoned to consider the power of decisiveness in our own lives. How might we, too, cut through our modern challenges with the same precision and clarity that Musashi wielded his blade? As we delve deeper into his philosophy, let's seek the tools to transform our mindset, trading doubt for decisiveness. Musashi's Battles, More Than Just Sword Fights From the decisive clarity of Musashi's mindset, we now dive into the heart of his legendary duels. But as blades clashed and dust rose, these encounters were more than just tests of martial prowess. They were intense mental chess matches. Each duel was a complex dance, with each fighter locked not just in a physical contest, but in a battle of wits and wills. For Musashi, his legendary status wasn't only born from his skill with the sword, but also from his ability to navigate the intricate maze of his opponent's mind. With every feint, parry, and strike, Musashi wasn't just reading his adversary's movements, he was delving deep into their psyche. This introspective journey within each duel is analogous to our daily mental battles. Just as Musashi faced opponents wielding katanas, we confront our challenges, doubts, and overthinking. The arena may differ, but the essence remains. As we journey forward, bearing in mind Musashi's experiences, we're prompted to question, how can we, too, tackle our inner duels with such finesse and dexterity? The answer lies within Musashi's strategy, which transcends the realm of swordplay. The Two Swords Balancing Logic and Emotion Emerging from Musashi's multifaceted duels is a profound lesson epitomized by his signature technique, Niten Ichi Ryu, a masterful dance with two swords. It's not just martial artistry, but a metaphor for harmonizing emotion and reason. In wielding two blades, Musashi wasn't simply showing off his physical prowess, he was demonstrating the power of balance. One sword epitomized raw emotion, the heart's passionate sways. The other symbolized cool logic, the mind's calculated moves. 
When one sword lunged impulsively, the other was there to correct and guide. This was Musashi's secret, not dominance of one over the other, but their synergy. This duality is a mirror to our mental processes. Overthinking often arises when we let one sword take over. True clarity, as Musashi showed, comes from mastering both. As we navigate life's challenges, channeling Musashi's equilibrium can be our guide to quell the tempest of overthinking. Nature as a teacher, flow like water. If Musashi's combative artistry was a symphony, nature provided the melody. Delving into his strategies reveals an echoing reverence for the natural world and its effortless cadence. Musashi observed water in its myriad forms, from the relentless crashing of waves to the serene flow of a tranquil stream. He recognized water's ability to adapt to any obstacle. It was this adaptive quality that he integrated into his combat strategies. Instead of resisting, he learned to flow. Instead of confronting, he moved around. Similarly, our minds, when trapped in the eddies of overthinking, can find solace in nature's lessons. By observing and internalizing the adaptability and resilience of water, we too can train our minds to move around obstacles instead of fixating on them. Just as water carves its path effortlessly, we can learn to navigate challenges with grace and mental agility. Silence and solitude, the cure to mental clutter. From the flowing adaptability of water, we transition to another profound facet of Musashi's wisdom, the power of silence and solitude. While Musashi looked to nature for tactical insights, he sought solitude for self-understanding and mental clarity. As a warrior, Musashi faced external conflicts that were a mirror to internal struggles. By retreating into seclusion, he was able to navigate the intricate labyrinths of his mind, identifying and addressing the sources of mental unrest. It was during these periods of deep introspection that he distilled his thoughts, refined his strategies, and cultivated a clear, unclouded vision. In an age of incessant notifications, social media buzz, and the humdrum of modern life, we too can benefit immensely from periods of deliberate solitude. By creating pockets of silence amidst our daily cacophonies, we grant ourselves the space to declutter mentally. Just as Musashi wielded his swords with precision, solitude can be our tool to cut through the webs of overthinking, providing a clearer, more focused path forward. Mindfulness, the art of being present. Emerging from the depths of the Book of Five Rings, one can't help but notice Musashi's tacit promotion of mindfulness. For him, each duel wasn't just about physical prowess, but deep, unwavering presence. Musashi's combats demanded an acute awareness of every slight movement, breath, and even the nuances of his adversary's intent. In those life-or-death moments, there was no room for distraction. Every swing of his sword was a testament to his total immersion in the present moment. Such profound presence in a duel mirrors the essence of mindfulness we seek in today's fast-paced world. Overthinking often roots in dwelling on the past or fretting about the future. Yet Musashi's wisdom teaches us to anchor ourselves firmly in the now. By being truly present, we free our minds from the chains of past regrets and future anxieties. Modern mindfulness techniques like meditation and deep breathing exercises echo Musashi's principles. They guide us to center our thoughts, to find a quiet stillness amidst chaos. In embracing these practices, we don't just reduce rumination, but also sharpen our mental clarity, much like Musashi in the heat of a duel. So as we navigate the modern battlegrounds of our minds, let us remember the samurai's silent lesson. To combat overthinking, one must truly live in the moment. Rituals and routines, anchors in a chaotic world, as we delve deeper into the layers of Musashi's life, we recognize that beneath his combative prowess was a structure of rituals and routines. His discipline in practicing daily techniques wasn't just to sharpen his swordplay, but also to maintain a mental equilibrium. Every sunrise with its rituals and every set routine was Musashi's way of grounding himself. In an unpredictable world of duels and challenges, these patterns became his anchor. They allowed him to anticipate his days, creating pockets of certainty in an otherwise volatile environment. Drawing a parallel to our current age, we are surrounded by a whirlwind of information, tasks, and distractions, often leading to an overload of thoughts. Instituting daily rituals, whether it's a morning meditation or a nightly reflection, can act as stabilizers, centering us amidst the chaos. These routines become our sanctuary, 
a space where the mind can rest and rejuvenate, reducing the tendency to overanalyze. The genius of Musashi's teachings lies not just in its historic context, but its timeless relevance. In understanding his principles, we can mold them to frame our modern challenges. For instance, in an era dominated by digital distractions, setting dedicated time slots for technology and mindful breaks can echo Musashi's emphasis on focused practice. Similarly, his inclination towards nature can inspire us to incorporate regular outdoor activities, grounding us and providing mental clarity. Musashi's preference for solitude and reflection can be mirrored in modern mindfulness practices or journaling routines. These are tools to introspect, to converse with oneself, and to declutter the labyrinth of thoughts. The essence is not in replicating Musashi's routines, but in capturing their spirit. In doing so, we arm ourselves with practices that don't just combat the tendency to overthink, but also guide us toward a life of clarity and purpose. The Path to a Clearer Mind as we journeyed through the intricate layers of Musashi's life, philosophy, and practices, we witnessed the symphony of clarity that he orchestrated in the tumult of his battles, both external and internal. This harmony is what the modern world desperately seeks amidst its cacophony of distractions and stressors. Just as Musashi skillfully wielded his dual sword, symbolizing emotion and reason, we too possess these internal weapons. Their potential, however, remains dormant, if not harnessed effectively. It's crucial to recognize that the battle against overthinking isn't about stifling thoughts, but about directing them with precision and purpose. In today's context, our encounters might not be with sword-wielding adversaries, but with the overwhelming floods of our own ruminations. The arena might have changed, but the essence of the battle remains. By internalizing the lessons from Musashi's strategies and routines, we position ourselves to navigate the mazes of our minds with agility. It's an empowering realization that the path to a clearer mind isn't found in external solutions alone, but in embracing the Musashi mindset. It beckons us to take up our internal swords, not in aggression but in mastery, to slice through the thickets of doubt and indecision. As we conclude this exploration, let this be an invitation to you. Approach your mental battles with the grace of a seasoned samurai. Seek clarity, cultivate discipline, and remember that every challenge, every rumination, is but an opportunity to refine your internal strategy. Embrace this journey, and you'll find yourself not lost in thought, but wielding it with unmatched prowess.